I'm going to now introduce Jennifer Batt, who's the, who was the second runner-up of this year's competition. She's a lecturer in English at the University of Bristol, and her project is entitled Data Mining Verse in 18th Century Newspapers. Okay, thanks. Um, and like Michael, I'd like to say thanks so much to the British Library Labs team for this opportunity. Um, so I'm a lecturer in English, and I work on 18th century poetry. One of the things that I'm really interested in is poems in newspapers, like this one on the slide. Um, you've got an image from the London Evening Post uh, from early November 1734. And in the top corner of it, you'd be able to see uh, some lines of poetry. They're verses by Jonathan Swift, the author of Gulliver's Travels and many other things. Um, What's interesting about poems in newspapers is when you put a poem in a newspaper, it gets into the hands of people who might not otherwise be reading verse. Newspapers in the 18th century are a really important way of transmitting literary culture to a broad audience. The idea that underpins my project, Data Mining for Verse in 18th century newspapers, is that there are countless, or perhaps better, there are uncounted poems in newspapers published over the course of the 18th century. Um, uncounted, an educated guess, I'd say there's probably somewhere like a hundred poems in newspapers every year, a thousand, several thousands over the course of the century, but we don't actually know. Um, if you want to find poems in newspapers, the old way of doing it was to sit with a hard copy and flick through. Um, the slightly more advanced way of doing it was to scroll through microfilm, and then beyond that, working with databases like the Bernie Collection, and all of those things have problems. Um, newspapers, the hypothesis is, newspapers are home to an ephemeral, complex, expansive literary culture that has been lost to us for several hundred years. Um, and this project is designed to work with the labs team who have real expertise in working with digitized newspapers, the project is designed to find out whether it is actually possible to recover this lost literary culture by data mining newspapers. Um, Mahendra and the labs team have got some ideas about how to do this by thinking about how we might target formatting. Um, but if anybody in the audience has any ideas about how we might go about finding poems in newspapers, do please come and talk to us because we'd be very happy to hear from you. Thank you.